is good. Everything that God is and does is good. The title of the devotion today is called From Prison to Palace. We learn through this story today how God worked so powerfully through Joseph's suffering to transform his life from, from prison into palace. And in that um, transformation, God is actually fulfilling the promises that he spoke to, uh, to Joseph through his dreams, Joseph's dreams. Uh, and so we see the, the faithfulness and the goodness of God through Joseph's suffering. So as we read this story, we, we see how uh, Pharaoh is anxious after dreaming two dreams. He calls his magicians and wise men. They couldn't interpret the dreams for him. Um, then the cupbearer, who's forgotten Joseph for two years, uh, recommends to Pharaoh that he calls Joseph. Joseph gets groomed up uh, and, and is presented to Pharaoh. And we read uh, a, a key verse that I just want to highlight um, in this in this passage is verse six. Sorry, verse um, sixteen that says Joseph answered Pharaoh, "It is not in me to interpret the dream. God, not I, will give Pharaoh a favorable answer." Uh, and and ju that I just want to highlight that this response shows how Joseph has been trained through his prison and suffering uh, season of his life to be humble, to be completely dependent on God and to not want to take advantage of this moment uh, in order for him to be set free. In, 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 uh, you know, contrary, Joseph decides to give God the glory and not to have his own agenda. That, uh, that verse really struck me. So then we learn after that, that Joseph, because he interprets the dream, and here's the key verse for this devotion, and it's in verse number 39 of this chapter, 41 of Genesis. It says, Then Pharaoh sa said to Joseph, Since your God has shown you all this, there is no one as discerning and clear-headed and wise as you are and we know from that point Joseph is placed as second in power for the nation of Egypt so what do we learn from this story or uh, that uh, how God so powerfully worked through Joseph's suffering to position him to the destiny the plan the original plan that God had for Joseph in during the suffering period the crushing period Joseph must have felt hopeless at times Joseph must have felt lonely at times but the Bible tells us that God was with him and even in prison God gave him favor he he was made leader in prison so what did Joseph what did this school teach Joseph it taught him five things Number one, it taught him that he needs to depend and rely completely and utterly on God, even during the crushing time. It taught him, it showed him and uh, God's presence. Joseph experienced God's presence while in prison. The other thing that Joseph learned through the crushing season is humility. Joseph learned to be humble. Many years before that, Joseph had dreamed uh, that he would be over, uh, he would rule over his brothers. And he may, we don't know that, but he may have been, you know, gotten proud in his heart. And God wanted to teach Joseph humility through this season of crushing and suffering. And, and then the other thing that Joseph learns was practical skills while he's in prison to prepare him for the position that God was going to place him in, in his future. And, and that is the leadership skills that Joseph was learning, practical skills. And so um, I just want to say that even during this time of crushing, this time of suffering, 
we have to have our antenna we have to be uh, in rhythm with god's heart and god's plan and trust that what god had promised in our individual lives and in the lives of a, of us as a church as a corporate body whatever god has promised he is good to fulfill his promises he is faithful even when we are faithless and we lose hope he is faithful to keep his promises and i just pray for myself for many others that are in a crushing season that we would fix our eyes on god knowing that he is not man that he should lie his promises are yes and amen and it may not feel like that but he will fulfill every word that he has spoken. I hope this has blessed you. God bless you and we'll see you soon. Take care.